Once we absorb the story, what's the next step? Find the want sentence. You find the want sentence, then you can hang your hat on that one want sentence. If everything you say, if I gave you something and I said, I'm going to give you three minutes to learn this and then come back in and read for me, you, all you have to do is find that one want sentence and everything you say is based on getting that want, you will have a healthy experience every time. Does it mean you're done creating that character? No. You can keep doing it. I, my mentor used to keep me on one scene for months and months and every time it got deeper and deeper and different and changed constantly. That's how you do a, a, you know, a three year run of a play that you've been doing forever. Are you ready? <laughs> Heavy sigh, my favorite way to start. <laughs> That's what I call running up to the mic. Ready as I will ever be. Oh. <clears throat> we'll Is get that to that. Thing? We will get to that. Okay. Watch what we feed our minds. Go. Jeez, take her easy there, Judge. You got that little vein thing happening again. Deputy Mayor Kransky. Oh, hi, hon. Nope, I'm uh, in a meeting. There's a meatloaf in the fridge. I gotta go. I love you too. How about we just kill the ninja? <sighs> this better be good. I'm missing my son's t-ball game. This is very important, Gary. What tuna casserole did you heat up? I ask this because the one on the left has cyanide in it, and the one on the right is for dinner tonight. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're gonna want to bury that one in the backyard. No, sweetheart, don't let the dog lick the pan. Whew. Really dodged a bullet there, didn't we? All right, hun, I'll be home around six. Morgan, this is your first big date, so I want to make sure you take protection. I don't care if the bulletproof vest makes you look fat. Mommy works for a nefarious crime syndicate. Poop happens, honey, and please take off that lipstick. It makes you look cheap. Okay, good. What's your want? I want to get off the phone. Okay, I like that. That's specific. I want to get off the phone. Why? Because I have to deal with the judge and get back to doing nefarious things. Okay, but don't you say something about a soccer tournament? You're like getting to the kids' t-ball game. I got to get to my kids' t-ball game. That would be a good reason to get off the phone, right? Yes. Okay. So I can hang my hat, up, hang my hat on that. Um, who has to be real in order for you to play pretend in this story? Who has to be real for you? What has to be real for you? Who has to be real for you? Deputy Mayor Kransky. You are Deputy Mayor Kransky. So you asked the right question earlier. Who are you? I am... Deputy, Deputy Mayor, Mayor Kransky. Kransky. So I don't have to be real, I already am. See what I'm saying? Good, good, good. Who else has to be real for you? My kid, my husband. Your kid, the your dog. husband, the dog. The so judge. That's right. So most of us spend our time working on the way we say our lines. We don't have to. It's the Morgan Freeman, flip it over. My daughter is dating this guy, I don't think the words will be there. Same way you told me exactly how you drove here, I didn't have to spend my time practicing how I said it, I just said it. So you are gonna do an exercise for me right now, ready? You are to laugh, and you're not allowed to stop laughing until I tell you to stop laughing. Ready? <laughs> and go. <laughs> I didn't say stop. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> Bigger. Okay. Keep laughing. Ah, keep going. Bigger. <laughs> Laugh bigger. Harder. Big guffaw. Don't bring lunch up. Keep laughing. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> okay. Good. Now do your copy right away. Go. Go. <laughs> Stop laughing, Jeez, go. Please take her easy there, Judge. You got that little vein thing happening again. <sighs> Deputy Mayor Kransky. Oh, hi, hon. Nope, I'm in a meeting. There's a meatloaf in the fridge. <laughs> Gotta go. Love you, too. 
How about we just kill the ninja? This better be good. I'm missing my kid's t-ball game. Now this is very important, Gary. What, which tuna casserole did you heat up? I ask this because the one on the left has cyanide in it, and the one on the right is for dinner tonight. Mmm, mm-hmm. Okay, you're gonna wanna bury that one in the backyard. No, sweetheart, don't let the dog lick the pan. Phew, really dodged a bullet there, didn't we? All right, hon, I'll be home around six. Morgan, this is your first big date. I wanna make sure you take protection. I don't care if the bulletproof vest makes you look fat. Mommy works for a nefarious crime syndicate. Poop happens, honey. And please take off that lipstick. It makes you look cheap. Good, 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 good. Very healthy start of that situation. Very healthy. Now, next time through, we'll get through the first page, you have to smile through the whole thing. Okay. And you are not allowed to stop smiling. Okay. And if you stop smiling, I will start you from the top. Dun, 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 dun. When you say when. Oh, ready to go, huh? Ready to go. And, oh, and go. Jeez, take her easy there, Juds. You got that little vein thing happening again. Deputy Mayor Kransky. Oh, hi, hon. Nope, I'm in a meeting. There's a meatloaf in the fridge. Gotta go, love you too. How about we just kill the ninja? This better be good, I'm missing my kid's t-ball game. Now this is very important, Gary. Which tuna casserole did you heat up? I ask this because the one on the left has cyanide in it and the one on the right is for dinner tonight. Mm-hmm, okay, you're gonna wanna bury that one in the backyard. No, sweetheart, don't let the dog lick the pan. Whew, really dodged a bullet there, didn't we? All right, hon, I'll be home around six. Morgan, this is your first big date, so I want to make sure you take protection. I don't care if the bulletproof vest makes you look fat. Mommy works for a nefarious crime syndicate. Poop happens, honey. And please, take off that lipstick. It makes you look cheap. Yay! <laughs> okay. Question for you, was that more fun? I think that was the first time I actually understood what was going on. That's right. It was like I finally, it was like, oh, okay. I just yeah. completely forgot everything else. You strike me as someone who might put a lot of pressure on yourself. Of course not. Of course. No, I So didn't. that pressure we usually have, we put on ourselves as a pressure to perform. Yes. And especially we have to perform in front of people. That's the only difference between the painting and what we do is that we do it in front of people with words not of our own choosing but you have to make that part fun. So with you, like Bob, strong willingnesses to play pretend, work on the having fun, having fun. There Jesus. is no right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. There is healthy and unhealthy. A healthy one is when I, um, I accepted the I am, I had a willingness to play pretend, I had fun doing it, and, uh, and I knew what I wanted, and I was specific about it. If I've reached all five points in, that, in my mind, that's all I can do. That's all I can do. I can't make people hire me. My mentor used to say to me, just because you don't book the part doesn't mean you didn't get the part. Does that make sense? If I were to play right now in the playground, this is exactly how I would play. When, there were, when I took the money aspect out of it, the work aspect of it, I take all that out of it, this is how I would play if I were to play right now. But most of us spend our time trying to get the opportunities to work, and then when we get the work job, we finally get cast in something, we freak out. That's when I get the phone calls. I, I'm doing this part, I, haven't, I, I don't know what to do, you gotta help me with this. Anyone ever felt that? Anyone? Okay, good. Excellent, thank you. Thank you. So thank you.